Hello, today I'm going to show you how to set up a custom stage in Abbey FlexiCapture Distributed. Now the first thing we want to do is open our project setup station, which you see in front of you. We're going to go to the project menu and hit our project properties option. You can see right here that I have my schema on the workflow tab set to simple. Well, in order to set up a new stage or a queue, sometimes we call them, you will need to select the advanced option. From here you can hit the plus stage. Now what I recommend you doing is you hit the plus stage button on a stage that is similar to this, uh, the stage that you want to set up. For example, if we're setting up a queue um, for uh, invoices that are greater than $100, which will be our sample today, then we're going to hit the verification because that's a verification queue. So what we would do is select that and then hit the plus stage. When we hit the plus stage, there are a lot of different options here that I'm not going to go into every single one of these. I would recommend that you read the help information and documentation for that. But we're going to set up a verification queue or stage. We're going to hit OK and then we're going to give this a name. And what we'll call it is uh, over 100. We'll say that this is our over $100 invoice queue. Um, we're going to say that this is on the verification. We want to use that tool. And then you can see we have other customizable features uh, that we won't dive into every one of these, but you can feel free to check them out on your own. Uh, so we're going to give name the queue, and then we're going to hit the field set. In the field set option, we have the ability to limit what fields are displayed to the user. So um, for this video, we will uh, limit the fields just to show you how that's done. So we're going to show maybe everything by the vendor and perhaps a total. And then that way everybody um, who uses this queue can see uh, those fields. Next we'll have an entry condition. And these are how documents get into the queue or stage. Um, by default, we have a list of rules that we're actually going not going to use. Um, and, and this is really up to you to determine when you're going to be processing um, a stage. But this is a good example of one that we would not use. So we're going to delete the top tree uh, node, and then we'll hit the plus. When we hit the plus rule, it's going to ask us for a name. So we're going to say this is the one over 100 rule. And you can see the condition type. There's two different options. You can either create a standard rule or you can create a script. When you create a script, you have the ability to use uh, the different languages that Abby already produces for us um, within their editor. But for today's demo, we're going to show just a standard rule. The rule will be implemented if the following condition is satisfied. Um, and then obviously these are just logic statements that you'll want to check. And what we're going to say is that um, the condition is that the field must satisfy an expression. So from here we select which rule, and these are your document definitions, and we're going to say that the total field um, is more or equal to 100. So if we were reading this, we would say, look, the invoice total has to be greater than or equal to 100 in order for um, an invoice to qualify for this queue. So once we're done, we will hit OK. The next step is the exit route. Where do you want the document to go after it's done with this stage? Now, I'm going to just slide this over here to the right a little bit so you can see the workflow schema here. And so what we're going to tell by default is just to route it through the traditional schema. You have the ability, however, to customize um, which stage you, got, you jump to once this is over, um, but uh, we're not going to, to control any of that. Next, we have roles. And roles determines who gets access to the stage or queue. We're going to create a new role. We're going to call this the, um, actually, let's call it the over 100 users. So these are users that we will put into this role. Consider it like a group, and these folks will have the ability to see the queue and, and go from there. Okay, so that is the workflow stage. We selected the fields, um, the conditions to entry and exit, and then we set up the role, which will determine who gets access to those um, documents. So we can simply hit OK. Um, you see it did put it above it. I'm going to have it just move this down one. So it, the document will go into a verification queue, a, a queue, a standard verification queue, and then it will go into our over 100 queue 
Um, and, and from there, for example, a manager or a supervisor would be able to approve an invoice if that was what we're looking to do here. Now I'm going to pause because I want you to understand where user roles are determined. Uh, and, and assigned. If you are in the administration console, the web-based administration console in Abbey Flexi Capture Distributed, you will go to permissions. Uh, permissions will lead you to this page. You will select the user and then from here you will determine which permissions they get assigned to. Well, we created one called over 100. So what I need to do now is apply and save those options and then if I refresh this screen you see down here below the over 100 users is now there. So this is where you determine what user gets access to what queue or stage. So we're going to say Travis has access to this stage and we will save it. And then of course you can see here are the permissions that outline, out, are outlined. Um, I'm an administrator, so I would by default have those queues, but if for some reason you wanted to restrict a user to a queue or just a, a subset of queues, you can absolutely do that. So once again, queues are controlled via permissions through the administration and monitoring console in Abbey Flexi Capture Distributed. So now that we have the stage set up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a document into our verification queue. Um, well, I can simply do that by dragging and dropping a document into our processed, uh, or I'm sorry, into our Abbey import hot folder, which I will do um, in just a second here. So I'm just going to process uh, several different invoices. And we'll watch those get picked up here in a second. You can see they are gone. And so I will open up our verification queue. This is our processing server. I will actually open up the verification client. And you see now I have access to a over 100 users queue. Um, but first, if you recall from our workflow, it has to go through verification first. So I'm going to open this up as a normal verification user. You can see the queue that I also have access to. So the document first comes into verification and we will look at these and we're just going to go ahead and approve them. Uh, you can review our other videos uh, on our website or through YouTube that explains how this information is captured. But for now, we're just going to close the task, which will move the task next, the next step uh, through the workflow. So once we hit uh, close the task, we refresh. Now you'll see we have a task in the over 100. All of those must have been over 100. You see, now I have a limited subset of fields because in my properties I determined what this queue will have access to as far as the fields go. So I think we told them uh, that we could have vendor and amount. So if we just flip through these, um, you can kind of see those rules there. Um, so that's the idea. Now we can close the task. And now that task will go through the export option. So th that's how simple it is. Now, once again, to review this, it's all about using the workflow settings. We created an over 100 rule and we set, you know, the different fields that they can see in the queue um, or stage and then what causes us to enter and exit that queue. So that is how staging is controlled. And then from here, the document would properly follow its exit route, and which for us is then moving on to export. So that is how you set up a queue in Abbey FlexiCapture Distributed. If we can answer any of your questions, please let us know and let us know how we can be of service to you. Thank you so much.